I'm Elke. When my little boy was three and my little girl was only 11 months, their daddy died. Alex had lots and lots of questions and together we wrote a book to try and help other children understand what happened. It is called, Is Daddy Coming Back in a Minute? It is written by myself and my son, Elke and Alex Barber, and it is illustrated by Anna Jarvis. It is now published by Jessica Kingsley Publishers. Is Daddy coming back in a minute? Hi, I'm Alex. I am one, two, three years old. Daddy and I are going on a boys weekend. Just me and him. No girls allowed. My little sister Olivia and mummy are staying at home. We go on a black train with real steam coming out. And a boat which takes us across a big lake. We eat ham and pineapple pizza. And Daddy buys me ice cream, which is just yummy. We go swimming at a pool and Daddy throws me high up into the air and catches me again. Water splashes everywhere. The next morning we have bacon sandwiches for breakfast with tomato sauce. Yum. Suddenly, Daddy feels a bit poorly. He says, I need help, Alex. Please go and get a neighbour. I go out, but there isn't anybody there. So I go a bit further until I find someone. When I get back, I say, Daddy, I went a bit further. Daddy smiles at me and says, Good lad. Then the ambulance comes with its flashing lights. It is really noisy. Daddy has to go to hospital. I don't want him to go. I play with the holiday park owner's pet lamb for ages. Suddenly, I see mummy carrying my toy ambulance. I shout, Oi! No girls allowed! Mummy smiles at me. Is Daddy coming back in a minute? I ask. Mummy kneels down and holds my ear to her chest. Can you hear that? She asks. I can hear a funny bump, bump, bump. That's a heart, says Mummy. Everybody's got one. When it stops beating, you can't breathe anymore. You can't run around or walk or talk or laugh or wear little boys on your head or tickle anybody. Daddy's heart has stopped beating and he's never coming back. Has he gone to work? I ask. Mummy starts to cry a little and says, No, Alex, he's not gone to work. His heart has stopped beating and he died. Daddy can't use his body anymore and he's never coming back. But where is he? I ask. Well, says Mummy, some people like to think of dead people as up in the sky. They could be a cloud or a star. But I don't want Daddy to be a star. I cry. I want him to come back down. He would like to, Alex, says Mummy. But he can't. His body stopped working. And he can never come back. But mummy, did he say please? Yes, Alex, he said please. 
But did he say, please, 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 I need to go and see my little boy? Yes, Alex, he did. But mummy, did he say, excuse me, please? Yes, he said, excuse me, please. But the ambulance people couldn't fix him. His body stopped working and he died. The ambulance people couldn't fix my daddy. No, Alex. They did their very best. But sometimes people are so badly hurt or broken they can't be fixed. Not even by ambulance people. But mummy, I ask, what if I hadn't found help? Would daddy still be okay? No, Alex, says mummy. He would just have died where he was, without the ambulance people to look after him. It is not your fault that daddy died. You did a great job finding help and I am very proud of you. But will he never come back, I ask? Mummy gives me a big hug and says, No, Alex. But we can talk about him every day and always remember how much he loved us and that he didn't want to go. The next few days are very busy. Lots of people come to our house and the phone rings all the time. Mummy says, tomorrow we're going to a place where lots of people will talk about Daddy. It is called a crematorium. Will they cry, I ask? Yes, they probably will, says Mummy. Why, I ask? Because they were all Daddy's friends, and just like us, they're very sad that Daddy died and can't come back. Okay, I say. The next day, a big black car comes to pick us up. I can't believe how big it is. Mummy has to take pictures of it for me. I have never seen such a big car. When we get to the crematorium, there are lots of people. Just like mummy said. I play toy cars with my auntie. Mummy, grandpa and lots of daddy's friends tell funny stories about daddy. At night, in bed, I say, Mummy, will you have to die? Yes, says mummy. Everybody has to die. But most people won't die until they're very old. Even older than granny and grandpa, I ask. Mummy smiles. Yes, Alex. Even older than granny and grandpa. But who will look after me when you die, mummy? Well... Hopefully I won't die until I'm very old and you're all grown up. But what if you do, I ask. If I die before you're big enough to look after yourself, Auntie Silka will. But what if she dies? Then Oma and Opa will look after you. But what if they die? So we sit down and write a list of all the people we love very much who would look after me if mummy died. But mummy, how many more sleeps until I have to die, I ask. Mummy thinks for a bit and then she says, I know, let's go to the beach. We stay there all day and collect shells. When it starts to get dark, we count all the shells we collected. Mummy needs to help me because I don't know all the numbers. There's so many. Mummy says, see all these shells? This is still a tiny number compared to the number of sleeps most people have before they die. Wow. 
that is a lot of sleeps, I say. Now I'm one, two, three, four years old. For my birthday, I'm having a monster party. I am really excited. Sometimes I still have bad dreams and worries, so I tell people about them. Usually mummy, or my friends, or my teachers. I say, excuse me please, I'm feeling sad today because my daddy died. Everybody's very good at listening. We all miss daddy very much and wish he could come back. We talk about him every day. But mummy, Olivia and I still have lots of fun together. Mummy always says, it's okay to be sad. But it's okay to be happy too. And we are. 